Hey there, everyone. My name's Noe. And I'm Caleb. And welcome to the first episode of the CouchCast podcast. This is going to be fun. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, here on CouchCast, uh, we just plan on BSing for you to listen to while you either munch on some food or, um, I don't know, just chilling on your couch. Like background noise. A little bit of background noise. Alright. So today's topic, if you didn't tell by the thumbnail, is about uh Fast and the Furious and our thoughts on Fast and the Furious. Um <laughs> Fast and the Furious. Um the last first time cool. Oh, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> first movie's great. <laughs> Yeah, the food. Caleb and I have had this conversation before, where we were sitting on our porches uh, and we're bullshitting about it. And Caleb has some very strong opinions on Fast and the Furious. Caleb, would you want to would you want to share some of your opinions on on that? Uh, just the fact that it went from being about cars to all this crazy shit that's in the newest ones. Yeah, I, I saw the new one. It has John Cena in the in the in the trailer as um with Dom's brother, right? Yeah, Jacob, a deadly assassin. <laughs> with a vendetta against Dom. His own brother. Yep. <laughs> I remember, I watched the trailer cuz you mentioned something that they're advertising it on Instagram and I saw it and I was like it, it, it's Dom like driving off a cliff, and then it pans over to John Cena, and he's standing there, and he's like, it, they're, "It's like they're like they're hyping it up like it's like a Godzilla versus Kong movie," and pretty much he just like drives off the cliff, and then like grapples onto something and slams his car into the side of the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite part is uh, the Hobbs and Shaw movie. I haven't seen that one. That's the one with uh, Dwayne the Rock, right? And then there's uh, the other guy. He's in a bunch of action movies. Uh, Jason Statham. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched it the whole way through, which I probably should to have a strong opinion on it. It's not really a strong opinion. It's just some parts of it weren't very realistic from what i saw i mean we both know that the fast and the furious have taken a dip from realistic <laughs> yeah i would say after probably fast five is when they started going towards the more unrealistic way well, I remember, I, think I didn't watch them in order. One of the first ones that I watched was um, uh, the one with the tank, you know, and they're, they're driving, or I don't know. I don't know if they're the same movie or I've just seen them because they kind of blend together. Uh, the other one was when they're driving after, like, a giant cargo plane, and they, they drive out the back of it, and they drive throughout it like it's, like, just some sort of playground toy, and... It, it's a bit, it's a bit, you know, a little, a little fucking ridiculous, if you ask me. The fast and the fucking ridiculous. <laughs> a little bit. Now, I loved the first Fast and the Furious movie. Right. The second one, Too Fast, Too Furious, not as good. Tokyo Drift, I like. I was gonna say, that one falls in there somewhere, right? Yeah. Tokyo Drift was the third one, I think. And I like Tokyo Drift. And can't really say that I remember all too much from any of the other ones. Right. <laughs> other than there's cars and they drive. And they drive fast and furious. But only sometimes. Only sometimes. The other times they're working on the cars fast and furiously. Yeah, but sometimes they were just fast five. Yeah, sometimes they were just five dudes 
Being fast. Being, being fast. <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't too angry in those movies. No, they were... What's fa- Is it Fast 6? Or what's the sixth one called? It was uh, uh, Fast and Furious 6. Oh. Not... So they took, out, they took out the and the. So it was just Fast and Furious. Then there's Furious 7. And then the Fate of the Furious was 8. And the newest one is going to be F9. Interesting. I mean, Fate's pretty clever. I'll give them that much. Like, yeah, I really enjoy when movies do that kind of thing with their names. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like I was reading this thing, and it was like, I think it was a YouTube comment, like, kind of, you know how, like, you can get into the, some of the YouTube comments, and you'll have, like, one comment that's like, oh, like, what a great opinion, and then, like, it's just, like, a few likes, but then you get those comments that's, like, 134 like different comments that are just attached like can't wait for this you know what i mean yeah yeah i mean you might have seen them on in pornhub comments you know or something like that but <laughs> but what i'm saying <laughs> what i'm anybody saying know a good minecraft seed <laughs> yeah anybody know a good mi- i need help cooking some lasagna can anybody uh give me some tips <laughs> All these people are naked. I'm reporting this for nudity. <laughs> Those type of comments. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it, I was reading... There was... So I'm big in, like, different music and stuff like that. So I was going on the soundtrack for How to Train Your Dragon. I think uh, one of my friends, Gavin, recommended the song to me. And I'm sitting there, and I'm, like, I'm listening to it. I'm having a good time, whatever. What I was doing with it. But I was reading the comments, because I saw this one. And it was, like... It was for How to Train Your Dragon 2, and Mm -hmm. it was, like, a comment where, like, man, they really missed out with, like, How to Train Your Dragons, or, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was, like, How to Train Your Dragons, but better, or something like that, and, like, or it was, like, How to Live with Dragons and Train Them too, or, I don't know, but it was just this long comment, like, like, yeah, the, the DreamWorks really hit the fucking bus with this one. Or, you know, <laughs> just... Like, people take movies to a, a whole different level when, you know, they see the name, you know? Yeah. So, I have the official trailer for F9 up right now. Okay. <laughs> and talking about the comments, I started looking at the comments, and the first comment on it is, after Fast Five, they literally turned into Avengers. <laughs> who would dom be as an avenger i mean because he isn't too smart i mean like Gr- <laughs> i am dom <laughs> i am dom yeah, I mean, vin diesel plays Groot, and it's part of Marvel. oh so. yeah you told me that yeah he's uh i mean that's a lot of effort on his part. I'll give him credit there, you know. Saying I am Groot over and over again, that's a that's a hell of a task. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Dude, these comments are out of control. <laughs> Read some off for us. Read some off. Uh, for F10, they go into space and Dom meets his uncle, I am Groot. <laughs> Not even Iron Man with the Infinity Stones could defeat Dom. He lives his life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> Let's see. F9. Han comes back. F10. Giselle comes back. F11. Dom wakes up from sleep and realizes the last ten movies were a dream. <laughs> <laughs> When you focus so hard on family that you forgot you had a brother. <laughs> Dude, these are gold. <laughs> you know, see, that's the whole plot of the movies, right? Like, it's like, we're a family now because we work on cars and we drive fast and furiously. And oh, yeah, it's all about family. Yeah. It, it seems, it seems kind of like a bit of a writer's fault to look at it and be like, okay... Um, so Dom has this brother. (laughs) 
all about family, but we're not going to mention that Dom has a brother until the ninth movie. And it's John fucking Cena. Because <laughs> why not? You know, the problem was he probably just couldn't see him. Dad, that's right. Also, did you know that there's a Netflix TV show for Fast and the Furious? You're joking. Yep, it's called Fast and Furious Spy Racers. Is that like an animated kids show? I don't know. That sounds like the, the plot of an animated kids show. And then it's you get got four seasons. Oh my god. Eight episodes a season. We got the new Stranger Things coming to Netflix and it's Too Fast, Too Furious Three. <laughs> too fast, too furious three, huh? Yeah, it's the twenty third installment. They just couldn't come up with anything better. I mean, hell, it looks like they're just taking out stuff at this point, you know, or adding new words. I mean, you got... Or switching the words around. Yeah, yeah. Furious and fast. <laughs> that one's about Lent. And how they're angry about it. <laughs> oh, they fast did... and the furious. They did not get good... Uh reviews for a lot of the movies who makes those movies is that fox that makes the fast and the furious do they own that because i know they own x-men and that's like one of their bigger Hold franchises saying vin diesel owns it <laughs> Vin Diesel. Yep, he, he owns it. <laughs> no wonder the movies are doing so well. <laughs> Hold up. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I won't put it past the guy. I mean, he's, he's, he's in a lot of good movies. You know, he's... Oh, yeah, great actor. I Yeah, he's a great actor. But, like, have you seen some of the interviews with him? I mean, he's pretty funny. But sometimes I genuinely feel like some of the, like, you get, like, Conan or you know somebody else and they'll be like talking to him and they'll be like it's like talking to a brick wall like it's not like a brick wall but like there's so, like a delay you know like when you open too many tabs and it's just like you see like the cycle thing i feel like that's like vin diesel <laughs> don't know if we should talk shit about vin diesel he might come after us <laughs> better yet he might make us one of the uh antagonists in one of the f9 or fast and the furious movies I mean, I'd be down. But, it, I mean, if he's coming right. after us, it's probably not like... It's like, you either wreck this car, or I'm gonna take your life. I'd wreck the car. <laughs> chance to survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful. We might see his brother. Well, I know that's, like, impossible, but... You know. And speaking of... <laughs> they have theme park attractions for Fast and the Furious... <laughs> where are they at what are they <laughs> i don't know i'm on the wiki that's what it says what what on earth is a fast and the furious <laughs> take a ride with paul walker oh we can't use that no <laughs> oh, yeah that's getting edited out <laughs> yeah, that's getting edited out <laughs> <laughs> that's not okay <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to put this on YouTube, man. <laughs> it's okay. I might. I'll have to beep out I, all the swear words that I've been saying. Yeah, thank God we're not live because episode one would have been our final episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we're not going live straight away. <laughs> also, we don't have to make this all about Fast and the Furious. No, yeah. I know, I know. We can talk about talk. other stuff. Well, well, what do you have in mind? I don't know, like, we could go to, like, other movies, and... Well, what, what, what's... Just talking about just Fast and the Furious for... How how long are we planning on making these episodes? Like, an hour? Yeah, I was thinking an hour. hour. I mean, I think that's the best chance for making, you know? It's fine. We Let's get back on track, though. Um, Alright. So, we left off at the theme park attractions. Yeah. So let me look up what the theme park attraction is for Fast and the Furious. Let 
Let's see. Oh, it's Universal. That sounds about right. <laughs> Universal Studios. It's, Does it say what the rides are? It's, uh, it's called Fast and the Furious Supercharged. Oh. <laughs> ride along with the all-star cast from the hit movies of exceeds 120 miles per hour and catapults you into a into the high stakes underworld of fast cars and international crime cartels you'll be engulfed in the world of cutting edge hyper realistic special effects including 3d hd imagery projected onto the world's most expensive 360 degree screens and that's all it's gonna say about it so you're you're just sitting in a cart. <laughs> They're like, buckle up! <laughs> buckle up. This is stationary, but it's going 120 miles an hour. You're gonna feel it. You like, It's like uh, you like sit in the cart and they spray you with a bit of water and you just drove past the waterfall with a... Uh... <laughs> it's, it's when we went to Niagara Falls and we got on the SpongeBob 4D ride. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say. You get on the 4D <laughs> rides and it's like... Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> dude, dude that works at Universal just walks up to you, sprays you with a spray bottle. <laughs> yeah. well, well, you hit a puddle. Oh, <laughs> dro- runs away. Runs away. Slowly, and he's getting paid minimum slowly wage. Slowly tipped your chair back. Yeah. Oh, you're on rocks. He just like shakes your ta- chair back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not what it is, because that'd be disappointing. Well, they have, like, a camel in there, you know, and, you know, they're famous for, like, spitting. You know. (laughs) Which which movie was it that went to Dubai? Was it Seven? One of them. (laughs) I don't know. Where are they in Nine? They're in, like, I don't know, the Grand Canyon? (laughs) That's what it looks like. It's the same place as Far Cry 4. Right, we'll just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. What was it in Far Cry 4? It was... Like India. <laughs> nah, it was it was an island. It was like... Hold on. Wait, I thought... Or is that Far Cry... No, wait. I think Far Cry 4 is like India because there's elephants and stuff. Far Cry 3, you're on like... You're in like the Caribbeans and there's... Uh... Oh my gosh. I haven't played Far Cry 3 since... 360. I haven't played Far Cry 4 since 360. That was one of the last uh, 360 games Far that I got. Far Cry 4 was located in the fictional island of Karat. In Karat. the fictional Himalayan country. Okay, so it is. It's like northern India. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then, like, I knew, th- like, Far Cry 3, that's like, that's like the Caribbean, like, pirates, right? Yeah. Not like pirates, not like, like Jack Voss. Sparrow. But like... Voss is the greatest bad guy in video game history. In all of video game history? Most. Hmm. I would say the only the only villain that is higher up on that list for me would be Jack. From Borderlands too. Yeah. Yeah, I liked Jack. I think I think one of the better things I like about Jack is that uh is that that who makes that? Is that um uh it's not Ubisoft, is it? It's um Borderlands? Yeah. Uh Gearbox makes Borderlands. Gearbox, yeah. I, I think one of the cool things I like about like the series and stuff is like if they add a character, that character will be in the future Borderlands. Well, yeah, for, for sure. some of them, but Jack especially, because he was like, I don't know, he's like a, he, he was a big deal in two, obviously, and he had so much build up as a character, and especially, I mean, I don't know if we should talk about spoilers, but you know, spoiler alert, he kills he's Roland. Came out, he's, he's came out so long ago. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's, it's, now, yeah, fart, I mean, if fart, because <laughs> that just came out not too long ago right but like borderlands 2 if you haven't beat borderlands 2 yet which i just beat it two days ago (laughs) (laughs) we have a late bloomer for the borderlands 2 series here (laughs) on the on the couch cast i take too much time in borderlands 
making a character, getting halfway through the game, deleting that character, making a new character. You just love waking up and seeing Claptrap. <laughs> oh yeah, it's my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Feeding Captain Flint and Boom Boom and Midge Long. <laughs> Dealing with the damn racks. Oh, racks. Oh, I hate racks. Like Cliff Striders and Morrowind. Yeah, yeah, you're not in. You're not into that, so that's okay. But <laughs> yeah, don't think I played Morrowind. <laughs> I've played Oblivion. I'm playing it's through better. Morrowind. Um, what can I say about I? I was gonna say, what do I think about it? I hate it, but like, <laughs> if anybody look, plays Morrowind that listens to this, they'll they'll be like, sinner, you don't like oh, the Elder Scrolls series, you baby, you must play Skyrim. I do play I Skyrim. Think you- <laughs> I think you have a reason for not liking Morrowind, and that's because we started with Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. So the older games aren't really going to hold up to what we believe is the normal for the Elder Scrolls series. I, well, I was at work, and I was. It was around the time where we really didn't have that much to do, so I was just trying to find something. I, I started playing Raid Shadow Legends, actually, just recently. Yeah, I, I have Raid too. Not do you? Time, do you really? Yeah. I play Raid. I, I've been playing a bit. I've made my first purchase on it. I'm not proud of it, but it is. I haven't made any purchases on it, but I mean, I, I pick it up every once in a while. You know, it's fun, though. It's a, it's a fun little ex- game. I like the dynamic of it, like the turn-by-turn stuff. Yeah. We're just giving them some free uh, whatever, but... uh. <laughs> <laughs> free sponsorship raid if you see this i do play your game and if you sponsor this i'm sure caleb and i will gladly spend money on it <laughs> it's like a reimbursement the Cast <laughs> does in fact play raid, raid shadow, shadow legends. legends heck if you even give us our own like siamese monster champion of like a couch and like a humanoid it's a mimic yeah, it's a mimic. <laughs> it's... <laughs> this ain't gonna go nowhere. Make it the new clan boss and... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that would be great. But, uh, getting... <laughs> Staying the same, like, uh, genre of medieval. Um, in Borderlands, I guess, even though that's not medieval, but... Uh, Morrowind is... It's just, like... You're kind of just, like, you do the beginning, and it's, like, it tells you, like, this is what you're supposed to do. But there's no compass. There's no, like, way to mark your location of where you're going. You just kind of, like, look through your journal, and you're like, okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. And, like, if I never played ESO, I would have no idea where I'm going. Not a clue. Because because of ESO, I actually kind of know the map somewhat of Vardenfell. But... Yeah. I look at it in Morrowind, and it's just like, okay, I think this is here. I don't have anything to tell me that it's here, but I'm going to walk here. And the next thing I know, I'm I'm being attacked by some flying, uh, zero-textured monster. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's a Cliff Strider. The, uh, the, the Elder Scrolls equivalent of a rack in Borderlands, coming full circle. <laughs> yeah, flying enemies are always the worst. Yeah. Uh, one of the cool things, though, about, like, certain flying enemies in Borderlands, I did like in Borderlands 2, I mean, I didn't like the what happened, but when Mordecai loses his bird, and, um... A spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> Another one for all you late bloomers in Borderlands. Well, let's, just, let's just put spoiler alert in the damn title. <laughs> it's, well, I have the thumbnail made up, and it's already Fast and the Furious, but I'll... <laughs> I'll throw a few gaming things in there too. To <laughs> we'll just go, just put pop culture shift. <laughs> but uh, because we got way off track. Yeah, it is what it is. But with Borderlands, I mean, if you want to come full circle to Fast and the Furious, we can talk about some of the vehicles in Borderlands. Um. Oh, you mean the same ones that were in one of the Fast and the Furious movies, the ones where they were in Mexico? Oh yeah! Look at you. The the armored armored vehicles that they drove in that one kind of look like uh, the bandit technicals. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know uh, I didn't play three yet because I'm I want to play three. I don't know of any of the vehicles in it. Have you Have you played three? I have. 
I've that's what I'm currently playing. Um, not at this moment, but right, right. Uh, there are a couple new vehicles. Um, of course, the the Light Runner and the Bandit Technical are still there. What is the Light but Runner? It's the first vehicle. You oh, okay, like, like that kind of like that quad looking thing. Yeah. Not like a quad, but like a. Has, Before you get the bandit technical. Yeah, right yeah. There. I don't want to say it looks like a like a crab, kind of, but... <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, you know, like a crab. It kind of looks like a crab. Yeah. <laughs> but they added in Grievous's, uh one... Oh, one. the unicycle thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the only new vehicle that I've had so far. Alright. But, I mean, it's... Fun. Well, that's good. I mean, a lot of new weapons, a lot of returning characters. Yeah, I we can't spoil that. I mean, you yeah, can't. So you can, you can't, you guys. can't spoil that. I can. <laughs> guys, spoiler alert: Claptrap is still there. <laughs> As if that would anybody would think otherwise. He's such a funny character. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't like Claptrap. <laughs> I think I'll appreciate Claptrap more when the Borderlands movie comes around. You're joking, that's a thing? Oh yeah, they got full cast and everything. Jack Black is playing Claptrap. That's a perfect role for him. You know who's playing Roland? Who? <laughs> Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You know, it wasn't who I was expecting you were going to say. I kind of figured it was going to be, like, like Barack Obama or, like, <laughs> I don't know. Just somebody yeah. out. Yeah, Kevin Hart. <laughs> Gina Gershon is playing Moxie. Jamie Lee Curtis is playing Tannis. Bobby Lee is playing Larry. For the life of me, I can't think of who Larry is. Isn't that the dude... Who like sits and like you have to give the iridium to, and he like so he's like he's like give me your iridium. <laughs> no, that, that that's Crazy Earl. Oh, Crazy Earl. Okay, who's the who's the catch a ride guy? Catch a ride. Uh, that's Scooter. Scooter, are you looking at like the IMDb now or? Uh, no. I'm trying to figure out who Larry is. <laughs> <laughs> and from pictures, it's a guy wearing Handsome Jack's mask. And it says, Timothy Lawrence, not Handsome Jack. Oh. Maybe his name was never Jack then. You know what I mean? Well, no, no. In the prequel, you learn that his name is not Jack. Uh... Because in the prequel, if you don't remember much about the, the pre-sequel. Vague. Um, Another, in like... The very, okay. In the very beginning, when you rescue Handsome Jack, he, since this is before he was... Right, yeah, you know, he was just a Hyperion employee at that point. Yeah, when you rescue him, uh, and you're escaping uh, the Hyperion base that I can't think of the name of right now. The H. The Death Star H. <laughs> yeah, the, the big old H in the sky. Uh, the Either the CEO or somebody higher up than him calls him and, and calls him John. Which is not Timothy. Yes, which is not definitely not Timothy Lawrence. Uh, I'll look it up. What is... I don't remember a whole lot from the prequel. Another one of those like really like late 360 games I played before I switched to the one. Yeah. Um, I remember it was about aliens and like you had to like you had to like use like oxygen. I wasn't a huge fan of it. It wasn't like my favorite Borderlands, but I don't think it was a lot of people's favorite Borderlands either. I enjoyed the pre-sequel. Uh, Borderlands 2 is definitely still my favorite. Oh, yeah. I I have so many good memories on Borderlands 2. 
Uh, Borderlands 1 is good for what it is, but they definitely improved on it with Borderlands 2. I really, I don't think I ever, like, played through Borderlands 1 unless I was with you. And, like, we were sitting there, and it was, like, we were sitting there on the floor, and you're like, hey, you, you want to play a game? And I'm like, sure. And I'm expecting, like, I don't know, like, Halo 1 through 3, maybe Reach if it's a good day, or it's Army of 2. And then you whip out Borderlands, and I'm like, okay, I've seen this at GameStop. Like, I, I, it's, the dude on the front's pretty cool. He has, like, a cool little, like, mask. And we play it, and I'm like, oh, I get to choose a character and everything. And I don't remember what, like, my, like, old 360 account is on that Xbox of yours. But I'm I'm pretty sure it was, like, something around the holidays. You know, you remember what I'm talking about? It's like... Oh, God, it was holiday something. Holiday hacker! Holiday, holiday hacker. hacker. Oh, man. And I never played again on that account, unless I was with you. <laughs> it wasn't linked to any Microsoft email. It was just this random... Just the generic name that Xbox gave you. <laughs> Holiday Hacker. Oh, jeez. Where that came from, I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to know how the Microsoft shit works when you create an account and the random name it gives you how does it decide there's just some dude that snorts a line of crack and is like you're the holiday hacker oh god my when i got my account on my xbox one <laughs> the name it gave me was uh optic pine i still have that account added somewhere oh no i changed that to that's face oh is that face baked okay okay yeah i wasn't sure i remember optic pine though because yeah, you was... messaged me on Xbox, and I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> As you do with most Xbox messages. Yeah. You know, you get a message from somebody, and you're like, who? How do you know me? <laughs> <laughs> I know you from school. No, you don't! <laughs> stranger danger. I'm an adult, but stranger danger. <laughs> I mean, I that's how I reciprocate most Xbox messages. It's like, I feel like I'm about to DDoS you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Like, don't steal my credit card information, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> messages have gone down, though. Like, nowadays, the only messages I get is, like, if I put in Madden 21, I'll get 30 messages from random people asking me if I want to be in a tournament. Oh, really? No, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Just people I don't know. Or I'll get random invites to parties from people I don't know. Yeah, that's the that's the one that I get the most. It's just the random party invites. Like, you hop on GTA Online and you're going to get either a few party invites or the occasional, like, oh, you're bad, kid, you know, messages. Um, right. The only big one, for sure, is Battlefront 2. And this might go for many EA games, but I have never received as many messages as I have in, like, any sort of game, as I have in Battlefront 2. And oh, it... People get so mad. So mad. And, like, you could be... It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter if you're just being good at the game, and maybe you're being a little toxic, maybe you're, like... I don't know. Like, not doing anything. And maybe you're just going to take a piss, and you come back, and you got, like, three messages, like, Why aren't you helping us? There's a Darth Maul! Sector not clear! <laughs> Not clear. Not clear. Not clear. Not clear. <laughs> yeah, no. Messages that just come randomly in games are always the best. Because like, they mean nothing. <laughs> I don't wanna, like, if you send a, a toxic message out to somebody, like, despite maybe, like, oh, wow, that, like, that really ruined my day. I, I highly doubt anybody takes any sort of online gaming message with any sort of sincerity. You know what I mean? I, no, I never have. <laughs> I like, uh, there's some memes that are like that, where it'll be like the old, like, 360, like the doodle, and it's, and it's like recording, it's like, your mom's gay, dude. You, 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 you must make your mom so sad. And then it's like, and it's like, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> you know, playing the guitar or something. And it's like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that was a good one. 
Yeah. It's just, it's just funny how, like, some people have to just, like, go absolutely out of their way to just, like, leave a hateful comment to, like, a video game. <laughs> I have I have quite a few messages from Rainbow Six, especially. Oh, there's another one, yeah. I feel like that uh, game can get pretty crazy. Yeah, back when I first started playing, I used to fall into the trap of talking shit back, and then I would get comm banned. I remember it used now... to be audio banned all the time. Like, it was always like, here, can you call me... They're on Instagram or something, because yeah. I can't talk. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first time I got combat. I don't even remember what I said in the message. It wasn't anything, like, too bad. I, I just called him, like, a shitter or something. Yeah. And since I swore in it, he was able to get me combat. Yeah. But, um... And, of course, they're not going to review the message either. They just see a swear word, and they're like, Oh, nope, no, no, no. In a game about killing people, we do not allow swear words. Uh, yeah, Mister, in, in my in my account that, at least on the old 360, has the underground, which says that I might swear sometimes. Yes. I brought that up one time when I was combat, just talking to my mom, and then all of a sudden I was uncombat. Yeah, it gets into like the whole like, people listen to you, which is kind of funny since we're on a podcast. Hopefully. Some of you audio listeners out there, I mean, there's no video, so, I mean, like, if you're watching this as a video, hoping to see something, you know, sorry, you're SOL, I mean... <laughs> you're, 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 you can see a couch. We're yeah, you have a couch. Yeah, at, at the beginning and the end, right now, they're just looking at our Discord. <laughs> nah, nah, just put a couch there. Just to put... <laughs> we need to make, like, an animation of a mimic couch. Uh... <laughs> Well, if we get, you know, up there in the views, and the, and the, you know, like, I'm talking like a geezer, like, you know, we get up there in the YouTube views, and we, uh, get ourselves one of those editors, we can, uh, oh. we can afford one of them uh, couch mimic thingamajiggers. We can afford to pay somebody to make us a couch. Back when I fought in them. That's it. <laughs> Period. <laughs> just cool in the snow. Uphill both ways. I, I had to ride my bike six miles every day and 20 miles back. Gramps, that doesn't make any sense. Well, it makes sense! I walked to school with one foot. We only had one foot in our family. We had to share. I had to use a ruler in science, kiddo! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah. The Borderlands movie... Just going back to that, because yeah. <laughs> my brain works in mysterious ways. <laughs> uh, I'm extremely confused about when it takes place. Because Tannis is being played by Jamie Lee Curtis, and Jamie Lee Curtis is currently 62 years old. I don't actually know who Jamie Lee Curtis is, but is it animated, though? Because it could just be animated. No, no it, I, it's live action. Huh. Yes. So yeah. I mean, I don't want to say she her... looks old. I don't want to say she looks old, but like, I mean, and, and I'm not saying that I'm not saying that she's a bad looking person or anything. I'm just saying she's currently 62 years old. But the person playing Tiny Tina, Ariana Greenblatt, is 13. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so in Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina was 13, and I can't figure out. How I mean, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure there's a reason, you know. Like, I'm, it it might just, just be saying, because of the actress's skill. Place. Yeah. Like, does it take place before or after two? Does it take place after three? I mean, yeah, because she doesn't take. Sort of she doesn't stay universe. thirteen forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. That is fact. <laughs> Spoiler alert? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, yeah. Do you hear this? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put that as a spoiler. Well, no, no. Do you want me to give you a spoiler? Oh, of three. Not, yeah, for three. It's not a huge spoiler, but it's a spoiler. 
All right. Well, let's let's. There's a spoiler. I, who? I mean, if you're listening to this and you're really offended about you know hearing spoilers for a game, Borderlands Three, then this is a spoiler. If you haven't already noticed, okay. All right. Tiny Tina is in Borderlands Three. Okay. Tiny Tina is older in three. I would say probably twenties. Yeah. Okay. So there's probably like a seven year difference between. Well, there is a seven year difference, at least between two and three. Then. Actually, hold on. Is there any reoccurring yeah. uh, characters within um. Like from the prequels, besides like Claptrap, obviously, and Handsome Jack, and the rest of the OG Vault Hunters, but um, like any prequel characters that are in the in three. Any pre sequel characters in three? Yeah. I don't think that I've run into any yet in my current playthrough. Hmm. Um, but I know that, um. I mean, this could be a spoiler, but it's really not because it's one of the DLCs. Uh, Axton and Salvador run a DLC. I would love to do that DLC. From what I understand of the DLC, it's like it's kind of like Moxie's Underdome in a way, mm -hmm. and Axton and Salvador do the commentating. That sounds fun. I would love to hear Salvador. Like, playing through him in Borderlands 2 was just some of the funniest stuff. I, I That is the only character you ever played. I The only character I ever played and the only character that I loved from Borderlands 2. You, you had you had four different saves with him. I did. Well, players. I had one other save, and that was the Technomancer, who I also enjoyed. And I played through, uh... What the hell was it? Tiny Tina's, uh... uh Dungeons and Dragons, you just... Badland, or Badasses and Bunkers. Badasses and bunkers. bunkers. Badasses. I was I was getting there, okay. <laughs> I was getting there. You know, it took yeah, me. No, I just finished that DLC yesterday. Did you like it? I liked that one a lot. Oh, I loved it. I one of... cheated the final fight though. How'd you cheat? Uh, behind the little tower that he's on, you can jump onto it, and he can't actually hit you. Oh, okay. I I I played that legitimately, and I uh. It was a it was a struggle. It honestly was. I mean, I was going probably into it like at least like five levels less. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. I just speed ran it. <laughs> I didn't do any of the side quest. Oh yeah. wait, is the unicorn part of a side quest? Uh, no, the unicorn's the. I remember the unicorn. You feed it what iridium and it shits out loot. <laughs> well, no, it just shits out loot whenever it comes out after you defeat Jack. Uh, cause she is the, the princess or queen or whatever it was. Right. right. Um, and you feed her iridium and she, uh, turns the world back to the way it was before the handsome sorceress. Yeah, cause turned. Jack's a woman in that one. But even though he's no. not a woman, he's a... Oh, handsome. Did I say sorceress? Yeah. No, 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 he's the sorcerer. I don't know why I said sorceress <laughs> i just remember he's, him being in like a robe so i kind of was like oh i guess he was like you know borderlands humor you know what i mean i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> i mean borderlands humor where the gun literally turns your controller into a vibrator so yeah <laughs> aye, aye, aye. If borderlands 2 came out nowadays it would have been canceled <laughs> oh fast I mean, I've heard 3 has some pretty funny humor in it, too, though. Uh, 3 has some funny humor, but it's dulled down, for the most part, from Borderlands 2, at least, standards. I mean, yeah, that's just the deal with, like, cancel culture nowadays, too. It's like... I mean, but I'm still enjoying it, so... Well, that's good, you know. I gotta... I might see about getting into it, doing a playthrough of it. I can give you my copy... Nah, I didn't... I, I, well, I have the physical copy, but I'm getting sharing with... Taylor? Club. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't use first names, huh? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't know if he wants his, his name out there, so I'm just going to call him by his gamer tag. That's uh, fine. Club. Club. So, I have... Or, he bought Borderlands 3, so I have it. Be cool to see if we, you know if we can get some more people on the podcast, too. If um, any of you viewers are out there, or audio listeners... 
Um, obviously, this is kind of small deal. So if you if you if you ever want to be in it, I mean, personal people. I don't know if you're just some rando that's like from India and can't speak a lick of English. Uh, I'm gonna get canceled for that. But uh, <laughs> you know, Let's just cut that part out. Yeah. We don't speak other languages. So if you speak English and have a specific thing that you want to talk about, uh, we'll have our email in the description. Right, and we'll be putting the Discord in there as well. No. No? Oh, yes. No? <laughs> wait, wait, what were you knowing then? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll be I, put... I was thinking, like, Discord was like, I don't know, man. I don't know what I was we'll thinking. We'll be putting the, disc... the, the Discord in there. Uh, we'll be setting up a Facebook. I have the Instagram all set up. Be pretty much just posting. Uh... Right now, just... Couches. Huh? PNGs of couches. PNGs of couches. Like, mm, that's a good couch. Man, I'd love to sit in that. <laughs> Look at those cushions. Look at those cushions. And uh, just updates on um, our uh, different... Whatever. Uh, different times we're going to be posting. Right now, we're going to be doing Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um... We're not going to, uh, I don't even know how to go about saying this, but so far what we're doing is we'll be recording episodes week by, like, we'll record this episode, it probably won't come out till next week, or I might edit it tonight and see what happens, because I'm our solo editor at the moment. <laughs> but, uh... We are a... Startup. Professional... We are professional podcasters, if you couldn't tell. 60 years in the making. Yeah. This is actually correspondent with uh, Bethesda's new game, Skyfall. You know, it was, or what is it? It's not Skyfall, it's um, Star... Star something? <laughs> Skyfall is a James Bond movie. Yeah! <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the new one? It's Bethesda's game... Skyfall. No, it's Sky, Skyrim, the sequel. <laughs> Skyrim 2. It's even more cold. This is Skyrim 2, but it's not actually anything different. We just release it on the next-gen consoles. <laughs> Keep waiting for 6, motherfucker. <laughs> Buy our creation be club. We're selling Outer Scrolls 6. In Patchments, in, uh, in the Creation Club, and uh, it's just off of Skyrim. <laughs> you need to buy Skyrim before you can get Elder Scrolls Six. <laughs> it, it's what Call of Duty did when they, uh, which game was it? Uh, it was Infinite Warfare when they released uh, the remaster of 4, except they're going to release Skyrim, and with it is going to come Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah. You have to get Skyrim. <laughs> Todd Howard yeah, says so. If you don't get it, you don't get it. You don't get six. <laughs> you have to buy six, six different times before you can actually play it, though. Yeah, yeah. Six easy six. payments of sixty nine ninety nine. <laughs> and yes, we do accept house mortgages. We also accept firstborns. <laughs> and the blood and sons of the blood of the sons and daughters of Skyrim, but you have to play through Skyrim first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, any ideas that you want to give to our audio listeners and I guess the video viewers um, <laughs> love you both to death by the way yeah appreciate any Dear views video viewer, you are going to be goaded for sitting there and watching a black screen for an hour at a time yeah you're, you're... <laughs> audio listeners step it up <laughs> <laughs> start watching a black screen <laughs> it's Spend an hour of your time. <laughs> you just can't get that back, you know? Yeah, you know. I hope, we, we hope that you, uh, <laughs> you learned a lot from this podcast. I mean, I know the thumbnail might be a little misleading with the whole Fast and the Furious, but. <laughs> we are young adults and have no attention span for one thing. Yeah. Like, we thought we were going to do. <laughs> and this turned out to be 
about a bunch of random shit. Quite the opposite. <laughs> I think that we should start titling and making thumbnails based on not knowing what we're going to do. <laughs> Great, because that's exactly what I did today. So I went into this and made the thumbnail, and I'm like, this is what we're going to talk about. <laughs> and it turned out that we talked about that for all of 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I genuinely think so. I'll have to go back and look at the, the audio and see. And, and Lord, I know. hope that it, it recorded, but no. <laughs> and for all legal purposes, uh, those were jokes that we made about Fast and the Furious. Yes. God, Vin Diesel, please, please do not break down my door with your invisible brother. With I, that... lo <laughs> I love the Fast and the Furious movies. I just think it would be funny to take a piss out of them. Yes. And, uh, man, do we have to, do we have to come up with a slogan to let us off here? I mean, I know, I don't think it, it's been an hour yet, but, uh, I'm okay with cutting it short. Um, I mean, if you want to keep going, I'm down to keep going. Uh, I don't know. It's up to. I mean, what do you want to talk about? You have any any last thoughts? Any? Let's talk about ants. What are your thoughts on ants? Ants. Um, mm -hmm. they're small. They crawl mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. They can carry more than their weight of their body, and they're yeah, just crazy. they're they're insidious little bastards, and I I, no. I can't stand them. And I hope that it, I, I I I walked into the camp. Of ants with my lightsaber. And I, I slaughtered them. I slaughtered them like animals. Not just the men. But the women. And the children too. And now that girl wants to sleep with you. Because she just heard that you killed a bunch of people. Ants. Well, uh, ants. <laughs> well, well, same same premise. <laughs> but, but on a serious note. Are you all caught up on the Bad Patch? I have, and if you want to talk about the Bad Batch, then we better throw a major spoiler warning in right here. Let's 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 edit this part out because I just want to talk about one specific scene in the episode. Where, no, we don't uh, have to edit it out. This is the spoiler warning because, I mean, it has been, it has been at least like five days. No, it hasn't. Yes, it, no, four days since Bad Batch well, no, came I'm out. Talk, I'm talking about seven, not eight. Uh, the droid factory. Oh, oh, pfft. that's water on the bridge. You haven't seen the droid factory yet, then. So you haven't seen the newest episode, then. No, no, I have. Oh, I just, you have. I, I specifically want to talk about one scene in episode seven. All right, we can talk about seven then. Yeah, go ahead. When I can't remember her name now, the 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 girls that were with yeah the so twins the twins. Yeah, I can't remember their names. Uh, just a little FYI, if you haven't seen Bad Batch. It is a Disney Plus exclusive. It is a kind of like a sister series to um, Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Um, it it's takes place. The Clone Wars. <laughs> yeah, it's the Clone Wars. It's Clone Wars season eight. It's yeah, and it, it's very good. And if you have the chance, the episodes actually get shorter, um, but they are all great. Um, my girlfriend and I watch it together, and she loves it. And she she watches she watched through Star Wars and enjoyed it, but. I think out of all the series and stuff that I've shown her, that this is like the one that she loves, and it it it, it is truly great. But all right, so episode seven is a very controversial episode. Uh, a lot of people don't like some of the characters that are in it. I don't <laughs> mind Rafa or her sister. I don't remember what their names are, and I'm surprised you remember the one. I. Did not I am on the IMBD. Yeah. <laughs> it was, um... <laughs> well, there's the one sister, and she's the nice one, and she wants to be a mechanic. And then there's the criminal sister who runs a laundromat that just gets involved with the bad people. Trace. Yeah. Trace and Rafa. Yeah. So, which one's which now? <laughs> I'm gonna say that Trace is the, uh... Is Trace the is criminal, the older, yeah, the criminal -y the, one, and then the Rafa is the one that Ahsoka hung out with in season seven. Spoiler. Yeah. So, <laughs> in in that episode, when when Rafa goes, we need a diversion, and then Trace comes down and goes, we need a diversion, and then Rafa's like, is there an echo in here? And Echo just pops up. Yeah, goes, I fucking I, I, lost my shit. That that was funny. I. <laughs> 
And she's like, are you serious? <laughs> she was like, who are you? He goes, I'm Echo. <laughs> Filoni had wrote that joke seven years ago. <laughs> he was just waiting for a time to use it. <laughs> he, he waited. And he... So you haven't seen... So you saw the next episode then with, yeah. uh, with uh, Captain Rex. Yes. Great. I loved that episode. That was great. To see him, like, have, like, the, um, the attitude towards Order 66 and, like, that, I don't want to say, like, the, like, almost, like, instant PTSD from it, even though it was just such a recent thing, it was good. Like, I, I adore how the Clone Wars, like, act, not I want to say actors, but, like, the CGI or whatever it is looks, animation, because it, yeah. it brings so much life. Like I wish, I wish it was real. Like I wish, like it was like um like real life actors, like live. Mm -hmm. But it's so great for what it is. Oh, I love every bit of the Clone Wars and the Clone Wars season eight Bad Batch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Have to add Clone Wars season eight. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. It's just Clone Wars Season 8, but they told him he couldn't make no more Clone Wars, so he was like, I'm calling it the Bad Batch. <laughs> <laughs> it loopholes, is... people. Loopholes. <laughs> That's why he's creative director. He has the good ideas. But, uh, every bit of it. I've loved every episode. And you you have seen the most recent one. Yes. Uh, well... That one, I mean, that one we can wait on because that one, that's uh, that just came out last Friday, and we we don't want to spoil that because I we'll think talk about it next Friday. Yeah, we'll talk about it whenever we watch the new episode. But uh, no, that was probably one of my favorite episodes so far. If you haven't seen it and you haven't watching through Bad Batch, go watch it now. You're You're listening to this, even though we told you spoiler warning. What are you doing? Yeah, for real. I won't. We That's won't. Crazy. We won't say anything about the brand new episode, but the newest episode is absolutely great. And if you have been paying attention and been enjoying Bad Batch, go watch it. It is probably one of the best episodes yet. And if you've watched every episode of the Bad Batch, go do it again. Go <laughs> yeah. If you if you're spending an hour watching us, video listeners, <laughs> video watchers. Then you have more than enough time to go watch uh, Bad Batch there's, through. There's nothing going on in life right now that is more important than watching the Bad Batch again. <laughs> you can't go outside anyway. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I was thinking, I mean, this is a little heads up for the next uh, podcast that we'll be doing. This would be kind of cool to do at the end of each episode, but we could talk about um, what we'll do next time. But uh, I was thinking we could either do Reddit 50-50s or we could do uh, Would You Rathers. And maybe if we do the Reddit 50-50s, uh, our video watchers will actually have uh, something to <laughs> Oh, we could have, we could have the, the actual screen on there. And they yeah, know you know, change doing. it up a little bit, you know. <laughs> I mean, how well would Reddit fifty fifty or Would You Rather go with a podcast, though? Uh, would You Rather is like I've seen it on a few other podcasts that I listen to. It was kind of it was kind of trending for a bit, and I don't want to sound like oh we're tr we're following the trend, but you know that's you know that's how but YouTube follow, works. <laughs> that's how YouTube works. Um. I'm sorry we came after people. Yeah, sorry, but uh, no, pr pretty much, if you want to do an example, here's a little extended cut for you, but um, uh, it'd be like, w w I don't know, uh, would you rather, here, you talk for a minute, I'm gonna, I'll go on Reddit and I'll- I'm talking for a whole minute. Uh, what? Fast and the Furious has spawned several video games tied into the series. Video Need games. For, Need for Speed and Midnight Club are n notably Fast and the Furious games. I feel like that's incorrect. Just because a game has cars and you street race does not mean it's Fast and the Furious. I could be wrong, but I'm almost certain that Need for Speed is its own series. 
and so is Midnight Club. And Fast and the Furious did not create street racing. <laughs> they may have created family. <laughs> but I know they didn't create street racing. Because the first movie came out in 2001. <laughs> Alright. So it's the ones like, would you rather uh, live the rest of your life as a vegetable, but you could control how you fart <laughs> at will? Or would you rather walk around completely normal, but have no control of like, Sneezing, coughing, burping, farting, etc. Shitting your pants. Pissing your pants. Oh, wait, you're telling me I can shit my pants? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you have no control. You have no control of it. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> that, that's it. So that's an example of what we could do. Just look up Reddit. <laughs> Reddit, what are the odds? <laughs> or not, do, what are the odds? What'd you rap? different little mini games or some shit. Like, yeah, yeah. For like games like would you rather read it 50 50 which really isn't a game it's more of a horrible PTSD and simulator <laughs> we can i mean we can definitely focus on both i mean we uh, for example we kind of spent what maybe now 20 minutes of this podcast talking about fast and the furious <laughs> We've, we've just been all over the place. This is going to be called the ADHD podcast. <laughs> it's slowly switching from Couchcast because Lord knows. We got we to gotta rebrand. Lord knows this the Couchcast podcast has been taken already by somebody because it is not usable. So uh, we don't, We're not even sitting on a couch. <laughs> yeah. Hate to break your immersion levels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, video listeners. Whenever we get good cameras... We might be on a couch. <laughs> which, which I think we should do, like, once we get, like, an actual camera. Uh, we gotta get the face... That has to be part of the face reveal, you know? That, is... Yeah, one, once we once we do the face reveal... For the people that, you know, don't know who we are. <laughs> yeah, for the people that don't and can't, know who we are, and, and, and show up until after about uh, four months. And the people that don't just zoom in on my Discord picture. <laughs> <laughs> For those wondering, my Discord picture is a picture of Grace Dokabi Nam <laughs> from the Rainbow Six Siege game. Uh, Ubisoft, hit me up. Um, I have a picture of a hobo that I told to sit in a chair while I take pictures of him. He also and gave him a haircut before he did it. I did, and I also gave him that peace also, tea don't can. Know if you can say hobo on the internet anymore. Uh, is that is that derogatory? I didn't think it was derogatory. I, I, I feel like it probably is. Okay, well, a homeless According individual who I was trying to give some no, sort of no, prosperous... You need, to, you need to call him a man without a livable space. Oh, who... no, you can't say man. A Individual. A... An individual Maybe without a can... livable space or job um, or way of making income. So I gave him a bit of income in the form of a peace tea can and he smiled and I took a picture of him. <laughs> and now we are already canceled. Yep. <laughs> it's it's been, it's been a good run. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank all none of our subscribers cuz this video hasn't even come out yet. Yep. Uh, thanks for being with us through this hour long journey that we have taken and since we are Hopefully we be easy speezy in the cancel run. <laughs> uh, dude, we're gonna beat everybody in the cancel <laughs> we're getting canceled the second this goes live <laughs> yes. it's not even gonna be on youtube yet yeah. if that shit's getting taken down we're yeah it's... we don't even make money because we can't get monetized yet and they're still gonna make our videos demonetized <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be like you can't make money yes. but we're gonna double make sure all right well, this has been the Couchcast podcast, and if you're enjoying this from a couch somewhere, uh, enjoy those cushions. <laughs> Fluff them. Fluff them. Nice to them cushions. Lord knows you'll need them uh, at uh, some point. If your couch is a mimic, uh, get out. Yeah. You... 
Raid, if you're out there, we're willing. <laughs> Let us uh, get a we'll fan. We'll sell out. <laughs> yeah, we'll... This is, this is our first episode, but we're already ready to sell out. Yeah. Every dime. <laughs> <laughs> if you give us some ancient shard... If you give me we'll, a free, we'll... free legendary and Caleb a free legendary, then... We'll sell out for a penny. Yeah. <laughs> we'll split it. <laughs> <laughs> all right shit better be copper though <laughs> i better be able to bite that shit in half <laughs> all right well this has been the couch cast podcast thank you all for tuning in my name is noe that's when you come and in. i'm caleb <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you for tuning in uh have a first nice show, by the way first first show uh yeah, have a nice night, day, whatever you're listening to. Catch you around. See ya.